When somebody asked me the other day if I liked Enduro, I thought they were talking about a big head, like reclad Europop band. So of course I said yes. But it turns out that motorbike Enduro is actually dirt bike racing up big hills and over obstacles. <laughs> Boy, was my face red. It does seem like fun. <laughs> well, maybe that's debatable. It looks like the sort of sport where you spend most of your time picking up your bike. But this is all about getting over large obstacles. So let's find out how he should have done it. A burst of acceleration gives the back wheel torque and shifts the bike's weight distribution back, which helps to lift the front wheel over the obstacle. With sufficient forward momentum and acceleration, the back wheel will drive the rider and the bike over the log whilst its large, grippy tyre helps gain enough traction to clear it. So, it's a delicate balance of momentum and acceleration. But what happens when you get that balance wrong? Yeah, well, that's one way to do it. This biker hit the pipe with enough momentum to get the front of his bike and his center of mass over the top. But his back wheel catches and kicks up. A little less momentum next time, maybe. His momentum looks better. Maybe ease off a little on the acceleration. Even if you do make it over the obstacles, then you still have to contend with the hill. That is a very, very big hill. He's got plenty of torque, but his body position is too far forward, and when he hits a bump, his bike kicks up and he's thrown off. What we need here is something a bit more manageable. That's better. Whoa, whoa, whoa! When you're in the air, you can't steer. So if the bike in front of you mistimes his jump, you can kiss goodbye to your teeth. Well, at least he's got ice on it straight away.